Today we're making our model fly with a new dress in a new environment in less than 10 minutes. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find me on Instagram at ali.khalid.94 and this channel is all about teaching you how to become professional in Photoshop. Today we're gonna discuss gradients, magic wand, we're gonna use the hue and saturation adjustment layer and a lot of curves layers. So let's, let's get started. Okay, that's the first photo. These photos, you can find them on uh, the description below if you wanna follow along. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna go to image image rotation flip canvas horizontal i want her to be going like from left to right not from right to left then i'm gonna create a new layer uh, pick a color here like greenish cyan something like that and i'm gonna press alt and backspace to color it i'm gonna unlock this layer for now and leave it closed okay now i'm gonna add our first background layer which is the ground make sure it fits the canvas Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the mask button, go to gradient, make sure it's uh, from gradient to linear, and then I'm gonna hold shift and start dragging to erase what's behind. Okay, maybe I'll press now control and T, make it a little bit smaller, stretch it out, okay. Now I'm gonna add the sky background, I'm gonna use this one here, make sure it's on top, then I'm gonna do the same again, I'm gonna add the mask layer, and then go to the gradient, and start erasing it, until it's, it fades out. Okay, now these two are not matching with the color I wanna use, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on the uh, ground, I'm gonna go to adjustment layer, hue and saturation, make sure it's linked, reduce the saturation a little bit, then I'm gonna go again, go to curves, make sure it's linked, now I'm gonna go to the green channel and add some green tint to it, and go to the red channel, add a little bit of cyan, maybe in the blue channel I'll add some yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the one above, I'll do the same, I'll go to hue and saturation, link it, reduce the saturation a lot, because this one was more colorful than the ground, then I'm gonna go to curves layer, go to the green, add some green, make sure it's linked so it does not affect the whole image, just the layer below of it, add some green, maybe some yellow, it already has cyan I don't think we need to add cyan because it was already bluish now I'm gonna add our uh, no we already added it okay now I'm gonna take our model pull her to up and open the layer okay now we want to separate the sky we're gonna use the magic wand I mean use tolerance of something like 22 tolerance is the sensitivity of your magic wand I'm gonna click the sky click shift to add if I missed out something shift and then click Shift and click, shift and click. Okay, now since we selected our model, I'm gonna uh, add a layer mask, and then I'm gonna stand here and press Control and I. Okay, now we have some problems with the hair area. What I'm gonna do is, just wait a minute, I'll do this, and I'll color black to remove it on my layer mask. Okay, now to fix the hair, we're gonna press right click on the layer mask and click on select and mask. Then we're gonna use the refine uh, edge tool and we're gonna refine the hair to make sure there is no like the sky behind the hair. Okay, it's already like Photoshop is helping us a lot. It's doing great work here. Okay, now it's looking good. Okay. Now our model is a little bit big, we're gonna make her a little bit smaller. I want her to look like more of flying, so I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. 
something like that looks good okay now i want to change the color of her dress our background is green and what's contrasting to green is red so i want her dress to be red first you see this line it was not removed so i'm gonna stand on the layer mask with a black brush and just paint black so it's deleted okay now to change the dress color i'm gonna use the magic wand and i'm gonna pick her dress up Make sure everything is selected. Okay, now we have some problems. We have something extra selected. So to remove this, I'll go to the lasso tool. I'll hold Alt. Alt will add the small minus uh, beside your lasso tool. So now you're removing what you don't want. So I'm going to remove this area. And that area. Okay. And also her hair. Now I also want to add the umbrella, I want to change her color also, so I'm gonna press shift and then select the umbrella and now I'm gonna go to hue and saturation, make sure it's linked below and just to check if I'm going right, I'll pull this to the maximum just to check I'm targeting the right spots, okay, I'll bring it back to zero, now I'm gonna change the hue until the color is red. Well, that's red, yes, but it's a little bit not saturated, so I'm gonna pump up the saturation a little bit. Maybe make it something darker. More reddish. Yes, no, that looks great. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna add the birds. I'm just gonna go to Google and write birds. PNG. Just make sure when you're searching something, you have uh, images. You have the usage rights set to labeled for reuse with modification. So I'm gonna take this birds maybe. Right click, save image. Okay. And I'm gonna drag it to our Photoshop. Make them a little bit smaller. And here, I want to first make sure it's rasterized so I can delete the birds that I don't want. Maybe these two. Okay, something like that. And I'll reduce the opacity a little bit of the birds. Okay, one more thing I want to do is I will go here just below the lady. And I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer to blend those the ground and the sky together. I'll always like to do this adjustment layer, pull the curves from the uh, the shadows a little bit down and bring the blacks a little bit up, and pump up the highlight a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go on top of everything, do this thing again so it blends everything together. Something like that, and pull up the blacks a little bit, and the highlights. You see the difference here? It makes it much more dramatic. Okay, now I'm gonna go to curves. I wanna color grade the photo a little bit, so I'll go to the blue, add some blue to the shadows. Some yellows to the highlight. Then I'll go to the green. Maybe I'll add a little bit of magenta. No, I'll press this one. I don't want that. Blues again. I'll do it again. Some blues in the shadows. Yellows in the highlight. I'll add the magenta in the shadow area. Something like that. Not so strong, yes. And then I'll add a little bit of cyan to the midpoints. Okay, you see the difference here? Okay, now I'm gonna press Ctrl, Alt, and Shift. Hold them and press E. This will merge all the layers below into one new layer. I'll go to Filter, Camera Row Filter. Now I'm gonna pump up the clarity a little bit. It will make the photo more clear. Go to the FX module and add a little bit of vignette. 
Okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.